It's time for Draw With Me, your television art visit with Diana Tollefson. Come join Diana in her studio for today's lesson. Well, hello, grade six. Welcome back to the cabin. It's really nice to see you again. I'm glad you've dropped in for another visit. We'll be studying about line today and how line is very important in all of the things that we see and do. We're going to be looking today at a picture of sheep shearers, people who were busy uh, years ago. This is a really old picture. I think it was done in 1904. And it shows the men very busy in a barn shearing their sheep. And what we're particularly interested in in this lesson is the line structure of it. Like, for instance, there's a diagonal line across here for the roof. There are four vertical lines here for holding up the poles. The people are vertical lines. The people bent over here would be kind of curved lines. And also uh, the sheep and the dogs here make sort of curved areas. We're going to be talking about the design of the picture. When we talk about line, it's design we're after. Then over here we have a little picture of Edward VI, the child. This was uh, a very famous painting by Hans Holbein. Notice the line here again. There's curved line. Line around the face is curved. The line of the hat and the feather, curved. The line of the shoulder, curved. And also the arms. And then coming down here, you find little circles for the hand and also this other hand. So if you were to draw a line drawing of the basic structure underneath, this one would have to be done with curves, curved lines. All right, now dropping down below, we have a picture which is entirely uh, the opposite. This one has a lot of straight lines. It has horizontal lines going across this way for bars, vertical line of the bow and the violin this way, and then a few curved lines uh, echoing the straight lines and, and giving a contrast. This is, uh, again, a very uh, famous painting called Music and Good Luck by William Harnett. All right, we're going to uh, travel over here now and see some fish on a dish, <laughs> fish on a dish. Okay, this one is a modern picture and it's a little easier to see the abstract design because the design of this picture has almost uh, been left in its basic abstract form. You see here a, a full moon and a half moon figure. You see the fish on a platter. You see a glass here. Uh, another glass over here with a plant growing out of it. And actually, this painting shows you very clearly the basic structure of a, a line. Okay, now I'd like to show you the basic structure of the first one that we saw. Again, this one, uh, I have done a little sketch here to show you how this one would be the basic underlying drawing. I, I showed you the diagonal for the roof and the four posts, which are vertical and then the people. We're going to take this drawing and see what we could do with it. I'm showing you today that line is very important to everything we draw. I have another sketch of it here. And what I'd like to do with it is take it and turn it around. We're going to take and turn this around, showing you that line is something which is basic to all different types of artwork and a basic design is underlying every painting, whether it's a modern one or an old masterpiece. Now I'll take this this way, and I'd like you to do this yourself with some old masterpieces and some modern contemporary paintings. Find the basic line design under it, then turn the picture sideways so that it's different, or upside down. You remember this is the roof here, and these are the posts, and then these are the people uh, shearing the sheep. Now we'll turn it this way, and I'm going to say to you, with this line design, what could you see here that would make a different picture entirely? For instance, um, okay, let's go this way. Uh, I can see, I can see, I can see. How's your imagination today? Hmm? Can you see too? All right. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm, this is kind of a grumpy looking guy. Mm-hmm. We can bring a line over here and use this for his bow tie. And we have kind of a goofy looking 
kind of sober sort of a uh, figure of a person which could be actually uh, built up into a little drawing and made into a design of a kind of a grumpy looking maybe a clown figure now let's take that same design you see this one was the one which was the roof all right let's take the same one and this time instead of turning it the way i just did which made sort of a clown figure let's try turning it the other way now we know we started with it this way all right then we turned this way and found that man in there let's turn it this way and see what else we might find in it i don't know i haven't looked at it this way yet so let's put it up here and see what we can find first the whole thing and what was the ceiling is now the floor remember this was the ceiling and all of our sheep shearers are standing on their heads now okay so what could we do with this well let's see how is your imagination what would you do with it and uh, can you see that the underlying line makes an interesting design and it's what we call balance in a work of art. It's what we call um, having a basic composition underneath it. We try to have a nice line design under it. And even if you're going to do a portrait uh, or whatever type of landscape you might be going to do, you have to think of how does it fill up the page how does it balance and does it make an interesting design? Now this would make sort of an abstract flower arrangement, wouldn't it? Okay, so you can see that from this <laughs> sheep shearer uh, in the barn scene, we've made a face and we've made uh, some flowers. Now what other things do you think you could see? Well, in the one of the violin, for instance, this one that was hanging up that had the violin in it, we might be able to see something else in that. Let's try it and see if we can see something else. This violin was hanging up like that. And suppose we just take it and say, well, what in the world could it be? Hmm. Well, how about, uh, how about the violin could become a snowman? This part like this could be a person. You could put a um, top hat on him right up here. He, this line could be his uh, shovel or his, oops, the shovel could be over there just nicely, couldn't I? If I'd thought about it, that could have been the shovel. Well, let's see, he can be holding something else. Pitchfork, maybe, okay? All right, so here we have made a little snowman holding a shovel and <laughs> leaning against a pitchfork. Okay, now that's quite different, isn't it, from the violin? And yet, again, what I'm trying to show you today with line is that line is basic to all drawings, and we have to have line. In order to have a good picture, you have to have a nice space division, a nice balance of line. So much for those pictures. Now, suppose you're going to take a, a picture of your own, and you're thinking to yourself, well, now, all this talk about line. I know that I have to have a balance, a vertical and horizontal and nice space division. We call this composition when you are arranging your spaces with line. Composition, okay? It's also space division. It's the foundation of all of our artwork. Suppose you start in dividing your space now. You're going to take a line like this and maybe a line across here. Notice when you are working with just vertical and horizontal lines, what a feeling there is of strength and stability. There isn't any movement. Everything is quiet and orderly. And you say to yourself, well, now we have large, medium, and small areas to work with. Here's a large area. Here are some medium-sized areas. And here are some smaller ones. You could even divide this up into smaller ones like that. Now, so far, you have just a composition, a design, from which you can build almost any number of, of uh, pictures. For instance, as soon as I put these little things on here, I thought in terms of a doorknob and uh, possibly a door across here with some more little rectangles like this, and these would be the panels of the door. Uh, this could be a building. Across here, you could have... Uh, uh, another building, maybe a store downtown, maybe another door here, another window over here. 
Maybe you could put a curb across like this. You could bring out uh, another curb coming this way. And you could build up a scene uh, of a downtown section, for instance. That would be very easy to do here. You could put a person opening the door. And the first thing you know, you have built up a picture based on good space division, a, a good design. Now, when you think of a good design, you want to remember to balance large and middle size. There are medium and small shapes as you, as you begin to make a good design. Use your lines so that you have large, medium, and small. Okay, let's try over here now, right beside this, so that you can see the difference. A design in which we are going to use not only the vertical and horizontal lines, but also some diagonal lines. Suppose we start with a short horizontal like that, and then I jag across like this with a jagged effect like this, and come back like this, okay? And go down like that. Now, can you see that the minute I put the diagonal line in, something very exciting happened? Something really uh, nerve-wracking went on. We, we have a feeling of agitation and nervous strain here. Uh, if I put another diagonal coming back across it this way, we have a feeling of, uh, of great movement, of things moving and going at all different angles so that there isn't any quiet place there except this one vertical of the building, if it's a building going across here, the one rooftop over here. This might then be uh, something like perhaps construction scene. Uh, maybe these are boards that are being torn down and the building is being raised or, or something of this type. And over here you can see a perfectly nice building on that side of the boards and over here another stable building, okay? So here again, we have made a scene out of just lines. Okay, now what I'm trying to do with this lesson is show you how important it is to have a well-balanced composition underneath all of your pictures. Regardless of what kind of picture you are going to make, you have to first of all divide up your spaces and get an interesting balance so that you have large, medium, and small shapes so that you have a balance of diagonal lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines, and curved lines, okay? And when you're cooking with gas with all that, mm, you've really got a lot going for you, haven't you? So make your designs as interesting as you possibly can with a good balance of lights and darks, medium and small shapes, angles and lines going in all directions, making their beautiful painting. This has been Draw With Me, a television art visit with Diana Tollefson. Come back soon to Diana's art studio for another lesson in art. This program was produced for the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education and the South Dakota ITV Council. Watching South Dakota Public Television.